to the Aspen Plus simulation of a flash dryer. Our today's problem statement is a dryer operates at 200 degree Fahrenheit in one atmosphere. Apply the solids base property method and simulate a dryer model to compute the recovery of water in the top product. The wet specification given here is the temperature of 75 degree Fahrenheit, pressure of one atmosphere, flow rates of silicon of dioxide and H2 or 800 pounds per hour and 5 pounds per hour respectively. And the air specification given here is the temperature of 200 degree Fahrenheit, pressure of 1 atmosphere, flow rates of 50 pound mole per hour and the mole percentage of nitrogen and oxygen are 80 mole percentage and 20 mole percentage. So we have the figure over here. This figure we have the input as the wet which consists of SiO2 and H2O, air which consists of nitrogen and oxygen we have the output as air out and dry so we can start the simulation now let's go to the aspen window here so once we click the aspen plus is your interface from here we'll be getting the display like that we'll go for the template go for okay we'll go for the metric units okay so here we are ready with the aspen window so as we are using a flash dryer, let's go to the separators, flash, we'll put it over here. We have the input, so we'll go for the material balance, for getting the input and the output. Our first input, uh, we got it here. Put a right click, we'll just place it a bit above. Now we'll go for the second input, again go for the materials. So here we get the second input. Give a right click and arrange it sorry it got started you need to be careful while pressing it just put a bit down put a bit down so we, ha we have the inputs now we'll go for the outputs we we'll press the metal again so here we have the first output and this is the second output so we are ready with the figure now as stated in the question they are asking it's actually wet and air, air out and dry. We'll just put it there itself. We have, we'll rename it to. Sorry, uh, we have to rename it. Yeah. Wet. The second one is uh, air. We have the outputs as air out and dry this is air out and this is the dry output stream b1 denotes the name of the dryer we can rename it again rename it as flash dryer in short okay so now we are ready with the figure and now when you press the next button it shows whether our input specifications input is complete or not let's go and press and see what happens okay so here shows the flow sheet connectivity is complete provide the remaining problem specifications on input forms and display the next input form we'll press ok now we have we got started with the input specifications we have to provide the title as we are working on flash dryer we provide the same over here flash dryer uh, the remaining part remains untouched we need not to change anything over here we we'll go for the accounting i'll provide my name account number you can put any account number of your choice project name is flash dryer ok now we can click the report options button so that we can get the whatever output we want in which form we want we can get it so we want the output in fractional basis we will go for both mole and mass fractions this is also mole and mass fractions we will go for the next button again so now they are asking about the components so in the problem statement we have the components like silicon dioxide water nitrogen and oxygen so we we'll provide it over here for silicon dioxide we'll go for the find option 
find button will type silicon press enter then we have all the things started silicon we have silicon dioxide we'll add it close then we have water for water we can just type it and put a tab then we have nitrogen same we can do over here nitrogen put a tab and we have oxygen put a tab and all the type we have taken to be as convention we can change depending on our problem statement we'll go for the next button so here they are asking about the property methods and models and property method which property method should we select for doing this specific doing the simulation so as this is provided in our question that we have to use the solids based property method so we can put it we can search it the solid method from here we have the solids yeah right here solids go for next okay so now they are asking about the uh, specifications for the air material input so this problem we have the air materials to be here temperature of 200 degree Fahrenheit pressure of one atmosphere flow rates of 50 pound moles per nitrogen 80 mole percentage and oxygen 20 mole percentage so we'll provide here we have temperature of 200 degree Fahrenheit pressure of one atmosphere total flow of 50 sorry 50 let's check the units we have the units of 50 pound moles per hour moles pound moles per hour we have the nitrogen component to be 80 percentage which is 0.8 and oxygen to be 0.2 so this sends the specifications input specification for this stream air material we'll go for the next button now they they are asking about the stream wet material we are going to go to the problem statement to see the input specifications for the wet material here the temperature of 75 degree Fahrenheit and pressure of one atmosphere temperature of 75 degree Fahrenheit pressure of one atmosphere yeah and the total mole flow so here the m we have the flow rates of silicon dioxide and water at 800 pounds per hour and 5 pounds per hour so these are in mass fractions so it is in mass fraction values so we'll go here total flow will be in mass flow we have 805 so it takes to be a total of 805 pounds per hour same over here we have the mass flow to be pounds per hour silicon value was 800 and water we had 5 total of 805 we'll go for the next button now they are asking about the working condition or the working specification of the flash dryer. So again we will go to the problem statement here. The flash dryer works at the temperature of 200 degree Fahrenheit and 1 atmosphere. The same will provide over, over here. 200 degree Fahrenheit and pressure of 1 atmosphere. Okay and the valid phase will be in vapor liquid phase. We'll go for the next button. So it shows the all input specifications are completed and we can go with this simulation. Let's press OK. So here they're loading the input specifications and the calculation started and the simulation is also completed successfully. So we have can check the results. For checking the results, we'll go to this button, press it. We'll go for the streams. So here we have all the input and output values. We had the input of air the top output of air out we have the input of wet here and we had the output of dry here so this value in a compact form we can stream it in we can go to stream table once you press the stream table button we can go to our window and here we have the final simulation result we'll just zoom it 
so this is the final result of our simulation so here what was given in our question is we need to find out we need to compute the recovery of water in the top product means in the air out stream let's check in the air out stream this is our air out column we have to find the water amount mass flow of kg per hour the water amount is 1.692 and the mass fraction of water is 0 0.003 the same if you want to search for the dry output you can find the uh, water composition to be 0 0.576 which is uh, which got deducted or which got decreased from 2.268 to 0.576 as this is a drier operation so and from all other values we can interpret our results and uh, if you want to uh, save this this as a report file we'll go to file we'll go for export if you want to save it in say want to save it in desktop we'll go to desktop we we'll have flash draw and we'll save it as a report file we'll save it so we can go to our desktop <coughs> so here we have our desktop we have the flash draw over here so this is the result final simulation result this is the aspen simulation trademarks and all so from here it starts it start the table of the contents all our input specifications which you have provided and, and whatever is the output of the simulation all the details will be provided over here and we can it has been described very briefly over here and we can interpret our results from here so this ends our flash dryer simulation thanks for watching